Uh, hello, this is Scott Carpenter. I'm trying to outrun a cold front, but there's some uh, rocks piles up here in the National Park location near where I have a lot of Bigfoot activity. And uh, I wanted to investigate those. I've got a suspicion that these rock piles may not be just simple field stone piled up by the settlers, but could actually be uh, some ancient stone structures, which would add another twist to this area and all the Bigfoot activity in here. So I'm gonna go up here and show you these structures, or these they're just large rock piles, but they're stacks. They're, they're not just thrown and piled together, they're actually stacked. And I'm gonna measure them, plot them out, and uh, kind of see if I can figure out a pattern, you know, how they're laid out as far as uh, uh, their direction, whether they're facing the east, north, south, or west, whether there's some, it's got something to do with the alignment of the stars or the moon. It may calendar, winter, summer, solstice, and all that good stuff. So if I can keep it from raining on me and get in here, and I will uh, hopefully uh, show you these uh, rock stacks, and we'll look at them and see what we see what see what we got. Okay, out of breath because I've literally been running. Heard some thunder, so my time without rain is limited. The rock stacks appear to be arranged in a Y, and I'll show you what I mean. Here's the first rock stack. This rock stack is approximately six foot high. You can see it here. Look how some of this stuff's laid in here. No mortar, it's all just laid. Look at that. Now, modern science has blamed this on the settlers stacking up field stone. It's been my experience that when they stack up field stone, they don't stack it, they literally just throw it in a pile. I mean, why? You know, why would they stack it so neatly? So let's, as you can kind of see, look at some of this. So there's pretty big rocks in here. These guys, this guy right here probably weighs 100 pounds. Okay, well, there's one rock stack. Over there on top of a boulder is another rock stack. And I'm going to get my orientation here. I've got my compass. Let's get north. All right. This rock stack right there is due north. And I mean right on the money due north. I don't know if you can see that or not. So this rock stack is due north of this guy. I've got a, a knocked over rock stack that is let me get my compass reading right here that rock is uh, northeast so let's go look at this bigger rock stack here. See, I've got one rock stack down there. I've got a second rock stack. This one's been tumbled over right there. And then I've got a really nice one right here. It's a big old boy. And it's been, they've used a flat boulder Look at this boulder right here. Huge boulder, flat. And they've really nice stonework. Look at this. 
All this is stacked. And this was due north from the other rock stack. There's a large boulder there. See that? I mean, these guys line up with each other. If I stand here right in the middle, lay my compass down. And orientate my compass right. There's magnetic north. These guys are right in the line. So these two guys line up pointing north. And the other two stacks are going west. I mean, sorry, east. But I want to show you these stacks because they're pretty amazing. I'll tie all this together later in the video. There's another researcher that has a theory that, or, that America had a uh, civilization of giants living living here uh, long before uh, either lived with or beside or even before the Native Native Americans or what we know as American Indian was here and. Uh, what uh, geologists and anthropologists and scientific community bring on uh, always say, oh, it was uh, farmers stacking up fieldstone. Well, I'm half a mile or more away from a field. And I don't know if you could hear that thunder, but my time is drawing nigh. Let me break so, So here I have these two rock stacks, basically north-south, and then, let's see, these are due, this rock stack is due east. These two stacks right here are almost directly due east. Let me go down here and show you this. This stack's been pushed over. As you can see at one time, it's pretty substantial. This was due east. Pretty large stack. The uh, settlers may have actually borrowed stone from these or took stone from these to build their fireplaces and other, other you know, st hearths. So yeah, those two stones are lined up north to south. This stack here is, I don't know if you can see that. That's north and south, the way it's pointing now. So it's, these are east, due east. And this stack is right in line. Let's go down here and look at it. This stone stack right here. Let's go around here. Notice it's on top of a boulder. Isn't that interesting? Large boulder, rock stack, large boulder up there, rock stack, large boulder. As far as I can tell, that stack right there is not on top of a boulder, but it could be. See how these guys were stacked in here? And I'm about to run out of time with no rain. There's a dilapidated stack right there. And it would be, it would be due north as well. I'm gonna pace off the size of this real quick. Before I leave, 
There's that rock stack. This is going to be rough. I'm going to be pacing. One, two, three, four, five, six, sorry, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Eleven to the edge. Twelve. So that's twelve paces. Let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. It's ten paces. Let's go over here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. 12, 13, 14, 14 paces, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 paces. When I get back, I'll draw all this up in the diagram, kind of give us an idea of what we're looking at. But, uh, to me, that's the most impressive one. And that's over six foot tall. I'm gonna go stand in front of it right here real quick. Hang on. It'll be a little bit of an angle, but you'll get the gist. You can kind of see I'm six foot three. Can I tell how big this is? If I had time. More time I'd uh, be more with it. Gotta see. So there's that stack. Again, I apologize for the quickness and the shakiness of the camera. I don't have a lot of time. I'm going to get wet if I'm not careful. Let's see here. I can hear the thunder now. I need to do this and I need to get my butt out of here. I'm going to go stand in front of this one. Can you see how big this one is? Real quick, I didn't think this was on top of a boulder, but it is. It's just deeper in the ground. If you'll look right here, see it? Sorry. This right here is the big boulder it's on. So it is sitting on a boulder right there. All right. Kind of give you an idea. I have eyewitness accounts of uh, Bigfoot on that. Uh, across the creek on that uh, hill over there. Have a, that was, there was there uh, was a group of six people looking for bears that saw Bigfoot running between the trees two years ago, three years ago, excuse me. I had the, uh, on top of the mountain up here, I had the plot watcher set up where I got uh, video of a Bigfoot. I've had prints, hair samples. Yeah, this is like a hotbed area. So it's, I just thought this was interesting. We have these rock stacks in this area that's known for Bigfoot activity. So I uh, hope that kind of gave you an idea. Uh, I'll tie this in with the background and uh, give a full explanation once I'm able to edit and uh, work on the video back home. Uh, right now, I'm going to snag you out of here because I haven't got much time before a thunderstorm hits me and uh, rain and video equipment don't like each other very much. <laughs>